Hello friends, welcome back to Plot Pointers. Today I will show you a horror, thriller, drama film from 2018, titled Tumbad. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, take care and enjoy the show. In 1947, Vinayak Rao describes the goddess of prosperity with his 14-year-old son Pandirong. The earth is her womb, and she represents limitless abundance and food in the form of grain and gold. She gave birth to 160 million gods when the universe was born. Her first and most cherished child, Hastar, was gluttonous and wanted all of her food and riches. Hastar was able to take the goddess gold, but as he was going to feed on grains, the other gods assaulted him. The goddess then saved him, but only on the condition that he would never be worshipped and that history would forget him. Hastar dozed off within his mother's womb for years. But the people of Tumbad, where Hastar has been imprisoned in his mother's womb, disobey this old taboo and construct a temple in honor of Hastar. The gods become enraged by this and curse the village, bringing about a never-ending shower of rain over it. In 1918, Vinayak's mother, the local lord's mistress, referred as Sarkar, greeted him at his house in Tumbad. This includes attempting to sell him sexual favors in exchange for the one gold coin kept with the Hastar idol. At home, Vinayak and his younger brother Sadashiv are concerned about having to feed Sarkar's ancestor, a monstrous old woman locked up in a different room. The mother suggests leaving Tumbad for Pune after Sarkar later passes away. Vinayak is adamant about locating the ill-fated riches that are said to be stashed away somewhere in the mansion. Following a terrible fall from a tree, Sadashiv's mother is forced to take him for medical attention. She informs Vinayak that the elderly woman needs to be fed that evening. She also advises him to use the name of Hastar to put the monstrous woman back to sleep if she wakes up. Sadashiv passes away en route to the hospital. The mother tells her carriage driver to go to Sarkar's estate and get the gold coin there. The monstrous and ravenous old woman attacks Vinayak as he tries to feed her, chains him, and threatens to eat him. The old woman is put to sleep when Vinayak calls on Hastar's name. When his mother comes back, she and Vinayak depart for Pune the following day. Despite his objections to staying and looking for the riches, she coerces Vinayak into making the promise to never go back to Tumbad. After fifteen years, Vinayak becomes an adult. Vinayak goes back to Tumbad in a desperate attempt to end his miserable life. The old woman, who has a tree now sprouting out of her body, tells him that he would be cursed to become immortal and transformed into a monster like her if he touches the prize, which is Hastar. She tells the secret that a well goes to the goddess womb where Hastar resides. In exchange for eliminating Hastar's protracted pain, Vinayak fulfills his word and kills her by setting her on fire. Despite stealing the goddess wealth, Hastar was unable to take her grain. As a result, after years of hunger, he longs for flour. Vinayak creates dough figures and trains physically to climb up and down a long rope in order to entice Hastar into the goddess's womb. Vinayak swipes at the gold-encrusted loincloth of Hastar while he is preoccupied with the food. Vinayak repeats the process of stealing spilled coins on a daily basis. He offers the opium trader Raghava's first gold coin as payment for a debt. Vinayak returns to Tumbad to rob Hastar each time he needs more cash. Raghav asks freely why Vinayak can only collect a small number of coins at a time and about the riches that is supposed to be hidden in the Tumbad mansion. Son Pandurang is born to Vinayak and his wife. Raghav sells his widowed daughter-in-law to Vinayak as a mistress when Sergeant Cooper gives him only two days to provide the money. Vinayak then learns of Raghav's plans to travel to Tumbad and help himself to the treasure in exchange for money. The next scene depicts Vinayak escorting Raghav to the Tumbad mansion, where he lures Raghav into entering the goddess womb, 
where Hastar brutally assaults him and transforms him into a monster, conjoining him to the walls of the womb. To put an end to Raghav's agony, Vinayak burns him alive. In 1947, Vinayak is instructed not to bring the Doe doll down when he brings Pandurung to the mansion to train him for the same purpose. But when he sneakily presents a clay doll, Hastar attacks without warning. Vinayak reprimands his son for almost touching them as they narrowly manage to flee. To divert Hastar, Pandurung advises snatching his loincloth, and they create a large number of Doe dolls. But as countless clones of Hastar appear, one for each doll they own, the two of them are stuck inside the womb. Vinayak, who has no chance of escaping, attaches the toys to his body as bait so that his son can return safely. When the coast is clear, Pandurong returns to the surface to find his father transformed into a monster outside the well. Pandurong rejects Vinayak's offer to give him the stolen loincloth that he took from Astar. Vinayak is regretfully set on fire by Pandurong, who then departs after sobbing at what his father has become.